Today on BladeHQ.com, we are taking a look at the Topps Knives Ute Series. We've got the smaller version, which is the Hunter's Point, as well as the larger version, which is the XL. We'll compare those as well as an SE Azula and an SE4. Kind of my go-tos as far as comparisons go with fixed blades. I own both of those, and so it allows me to kind of talk about them uh, comparatively. So first of all, the overall length on this one is six and a half inches. The blade length is three inches, made from 1095 high carbon steel. It's got a Rockwell hardness of 58. And uh, you're definitely gonna wanna oil this blade if you live in a humid environment, or if you live here in Utah. I mean, I, I like to oil mine as well. You just take a little bit of uh, olive oil or vegetable oil, rub it on there. Works just fine for maintaining that edge. The micarta handles on these, nice and thick. In hand, this one feels nice. It is a smaller blade, overall length of six and a half inches, but it feels nice in hand. Comparing it to an Essie Azula, that's one thing I really like, just straight out of the box. This one feels really good. You don't have to wrap it or anything. Even with my single wrap on the Azula, it's just not a lot to, to grip onto. These micarta scales give you more in hand to work with. I like it, very grippy. You can pull those off with an Allen wrench if you like. You can see the jimping in the handle as well as that jimping right on the spine of the blade. And you can see that one spot, one jimp. I don't know, would you call it a jimp? Anyway, there's one line right there into the micarta as well. Feels good in the hand. I was talking to a, a guy the other day, I can't remember exactly who it was, but he was mentioning that when you're skinning an animal, it's nice to be able to keep track of exactly where your finger is on the blade so you don't puncture any internal organs. So this one, in that regard, if you are choking up high on this in a skinning capacity, you can get your finger, I can get my finger to the very end of that blade and know exactly where that tip is. So definitely something to think about there. Check me if I'm wrong there in the comments, but that's, that's what the guy was telling me, so kind of cool. The weight on this one is 3.9 ounces and the weight with the sheath is 5.5 ounces. Now these are made by Tops in the US of A. They uh, are just up the road from us and Idaho Falls about three and a half hours away. It's not too far. You can see that in the Kydex sheath. It's got this uh, spring loaded belt clip and that is, let me get this paper out of the way. That rotates as well. So if you wanted to carry it in a different fashion Perhaps on the back of your belt, side carry, bag carry, lots of different options. And it comes with Topps whistle as well, which uh, I think we should blow at this time. <coughs> kind of train whistle, whistle style. So there you have it. There's the smaller version. Let me show you in comparison to the SE Azula. Now these are comparable. This one is $59.95, $48.50 on the Azula. So a little bit cheaper. It's the exact same steel on these ones but uh, you're getting that micarta handle on there, which is nice. So it's gonna cost you an extra 20 bucks, but just different strokes for different folks, different blade shapes on these ones, but you kind of get an idea. Good stuff. Let me uh, go over some thickness specs on this one with you. The thickness right at the spine of the blade, 0.18 inches, and at the tip, 0 0.09 inches. Right at the grind, as close to the edge as I can get, 0 0.07 inches. And the handle thickness itself is 0.6 inches. So fairly small knife. Let's take a look at it in comparison to the Ute XL. This one is nine inches overall, whereas the uh, smaller version is six and a half inches. Give you a size comparison look there. Smaller knives, but the exact same design. You can see this one, nine inches overall, four and a quarter inches made from that same 1095 high carbon steel. Very thick, very beefy. This one is, uh, let me just show you this while I'm thinking about it, 0.74, three quarters of an inch on the handle thickness, whereas the SE4 is 0.57. So this one has a, a definitely thicker handle. So, Things to think about. I like those micarta handle scales on it. Full tang, obviously. Good stuff. Feels nice in hand. The weight on this one is nine inches. And uh, I think that's a 
about it. Comes with the same exact sheath as the uh, smaller version. Nice Kydex, snaps in there well, not going anywhere. So let me show you a quick size comparison with an SE4, just to give you an idea. I hope these are helpful. Honestly, like I takes a little bit more time to pull another knife off the shelf, but I hope it's helpful to kind of see them in the same spot at the same time. So SE4 runs for, I think, 108. This one is uh, 104. Very, very similar blades. Kind of similar blade profiles, but not quite the same. This one comes as more of a sharper point, but no lanyard hole on the tops version. The SE has that going for it. So there you have it. Basic information, give you an idea of what this knife is all about. Uh, what else was I gonna mention? Uh, let me show you it with a glove on, just so you get an idea of how it looks in hand and feels in hand. Again, this is one that just feels good with gloves, without gloves. So just depending on how you like to work. The smaller version with gloves on, I'm a little worried. Yep, and that's, that's kind of what I feared. With gloves on, it doesn't feel as good in my hand, personally. I think that extra thickness from the gloves just kind of makes it a little less comfortable to me, personally. That's just my opinion. But if you are planning on working on, with gloves, I feel like you lose like half an inch to an inch of, of handle when you're wearing gloves, just because they take up extra space between you and the knife. This one feels really great to me without gloves, with gloves, a little bit small. So definitely cool knives. This one runs for $59.95. This is a smaller version. Larger version runs for $104.95. The place to buy them is bladehq.com. And that is also the place of the size comparison with the tactical clothespin. Bam, you can see the size comparison with the small version as well as the large version. And before I take off, let me just do a quick deal here. I think I did this already. I can't remember. 0.73 on the handle there. Thickness of the steel, 1095. 0.19 inches, 0.18. And then right at the tip, 0.07 inches. Right at the yeah, grind and the edge, 0.078. Let me check blade play on this one. Oh, wait. Never mind. It's a fixed blade. Just teasing. Guys, the place to buy these is bladehq.com. If you love it, you like it, buy it now at bladehq.com.